subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Formula formula. As we have learned chemical formula and empirical formula, now let's find out what is molecular formula. There are two types of chemical formulae, empirical formula and molecular formula. What is molecular formula? The molecule of ethane. In one molecule of ethane, there are two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. The molecular formula of ethane is C2H4. Let's take another example. What is the molecular formula of benzene? Drag and drop the correct answer into the correct box. Then you can check on the answer by clicking on the answer button. Congratulations! The molecular formula is a formula representing one molecule of compound. It shows the actual number of atoms of each element in one molecule of the compound. What are the differences between molecular and empirical formula? Now, drag and drop the correct answer into the correct table. Then you can check on the answer by clicking on the answer button. Congratulations! You have completed the activity. Let's solve some problems to understand the relationship between molecular formula and empirical formula. Molecular formula is a formula that shows the actual number of atoms of each element in one molecule of the compound. Empirical formula is a formula that shows the simplest ratio of the atoms of each element in a compound. Therefore, molecular formula is a multiple of empirical formula. This multiple is represented by n, a positive integer, where n is written as subscripts in this formula. Problem 1. Molecule X has the empirical formula of CH2. Its relative molecular mass is 28. Find the molecular formula of X. Given relative atomic masses for carbon and hydrogen are 12 and 1 respectively. The molecular formula of X is equal to empirical formula of X multiplied by N. Therefore, relative molecular mass of X is equal to the total relative atomic masses of element in the empirical formula of X multiplied by N. By calculation, N is equal to 2 which means that the molecular formula of X is twice its empirical formula. Thus, the molecular formula of X is C2H4. Problem 2. The empirical formula of Y is CH2O. Its relative molecular mass is 180. Find the molecular formula of Y. Given relative atomic masses for carbon, hydrogen and oxygen are 12, 1 and 16 respectively. The molecule formula of Y is equal to empirical formula of Y multiplied by N. Therefore, relative molecular mass of Y is equal to the total relative atomic masses of element in the empirical formula of Y multiplied by N. By calculation, N is equal to 6 which means that the molecular formula of Y is 6 times its empirical formula. Thus, the molecular formula of Y is C6H12O6. Do you still remember molecular formula and empirical formula? Yes, the formulae in red are the molecular formulae and the blue formulae are the empirical formulae. A molecular formula is a chemical formula which shows the actual number of atoms of each element in one molecule of a compound. 
An empirical formula is a chemical formula which shows the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element in a compound. Let us now see how we can determine the empirical formula experimentally. Click on the Procedure button to find out on how the experiment is carried out. Step 1. Weigh and record the mass of an empty crucible. Place a polished magnesium ribbon in the crucible and record the mass. Heat the crucible strongly until the magnesium is completely burnt. Weigh and record the mass of the crucible and its contents. Now, click on Results. Now, click on Calculation. First, we have to know or find the mass or percentage of elements in the compound. We use 0.6 grams of magnesium and it reacts completely with 0.4 grams of oxygen. Second, we divide the mass or percentage of each element by its relative atomic mass. This way, we can find the number of moles of each element. Now we know that 0.025 moles of magnesium reacts with 0.025 moles of oxygen. Third, we divide the number of moles obtained by the smallest number in step 2. We will get the smallest ratio of moles of each element. In this case, the smallest ratio of magnesium to oxygen is 1 to 1. Thus, the obtained empirical formula for magnesium oxide is Mg subscript 1 O subscript 1, but we do not write the subscripts 1. Since it is understood that there is one magnesium atom and one oxygen atom, we should write the empirical formula as MgO. Compound X contains 83.3% carbon and 16.7% hydrogen by mass. Find the empirical formula for this compound. What is the percentage mass of each element? Type in your answer and press enter. Given the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12 and hydrogen is 1, calculate the number of moles of each element. Type in your answer and press enter. Calculate the smallest ratio of moles by dividing the answers obtained with the smallest number in step 2. Type in your answer and press enter. Since the smallest ratio obtained is not a whole number, we have to change it into a whole number. Type in the empirical formula for this compound. To find out the molecular formula of a compound, we need to know the empirical formula of the compound as well as the relative molecular mass. In a molecular formula, the subscript number N is simple, multiplies of those in the empirical formula. Let us see an example. A compound has an empirical formula of CH subscript 2 Cl and a relative molecular mass of 99. What is its molecular formula? First, write the molecular formula. Next, calculate the relative molecular mass. Equate the relative molecular mass that is calculated with the given relative molecular mass. Write the molecular formula by replacing the value of N into the assumed molecular formula. Click on the example button to try on your own. The empirical formula of a compound is one carbon and one hydrogen. Its relative molecular mass is 78. Find its molecular formula.
summary. Molecular formula is the formula that shows the actual number of atoms of each element in one molecule of the compound. Molecular formula is a multiple of empirical formula. Click on the blinking button to proceed. The empirical formula of the compound is the chemical formula which shows the smallest ratio of elements in a compound. The molecular formula of the compound shows the actual numbers of the atoms of the elements that form the compound. There are four steps to be followed to calculate the empirical formula of a compound. Step 1. Find the mass or the percentage by the mass of elements in a compound. Step 2. Divide the mass of percentage by relative atomic mass to find number of moles. Step 3. Calculate the smallest ratio of moles by dividing the answers obtained with the smallest number in step 2. Step 4. Write the empirical formula. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.